Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov slammed Ukrainian President Zelensky's victory plan, calling it ephemeral. He said, instead, that it's a U.S. plan to fight us until the last Ukrainian, which Zelensky has camouflaged and presented as some ephemeral peace plan. Peskov also reiterated that a peace plan for Russia will only work if Ukraine understands the need to sober up. Zelensky was set to at least partially unveil a plan to win against Russia to his country's parliament after weeks of dropping hints about the blueprint to lukewarm Western allies, including U.S. President Joe Biden. Zelensky in the Verkhovna Rada stated that Western partners have practically approached the victory plan. Now, teams are focused on the details of effective support. Ukraine's partners, to whom this plan has already been presented, have approached it practically. They are paying attention. Teams are focused on the details for effective support. The teams have begun working, Zelensky said. He also confirmed that he would present the victory plan at tomorrow's European Council meeting. However, the president emphasized that he first needed to present it to the Verkhovna Rada. But I want to be honest about how certain non-public, diverse format communications with Ukraine accompany the situation. We hear from partners certain words like negotiations and, much less frequently, the word justice. Ukraine is open to diplomacy, but to honest diplomacy, Zelensky added. Notably, the victory plan has been shared with American leaders, including Joe Biden and presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The document was also presented to leaders in the UK, France, Italy, and Germany. Воевать с нами до последнего украинца, который теперь Зеленский закамуфлировал и назвал мирным планом. Вот, по всей видимости, это так. Какого-то иного там плана нет. Там может быть иной план, который может быть действительно мирным. Это осознание киевским режимом без перспективности той политики, которую они проводят. И, скажем так, понимание необходимости протрезветь, протрезветь и осознать те причины, которые привели к вот этому конфликту вокруг Украины, который сейчас идет. One woman was killed and at least 16 people injured in a Russian overnight strike in the southern Mykolaiv region of Ukraine. Regional authorities on Tuesday said civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged in the strike, which caused fires to break out. The attack also damaged vehicles, a restaurant complex and a shopping pavilion. The attack took place around 2.30 a.m. and was carried out with S-300 ballistic missiles, authorities added. The Air Force of Ukraine reported that Russia launched seven S-300 missiles at Mykolaiv and two KH-59 guided aerial missiles at northern regions of Ukraine.
15 жовтня, близько 2 години, 30 хвилин, ворогам було обстрілено місто Миколаїв. Внаслідок обстрілу було пошкоджено інфраструктурний об'єкт, ресторанний комплекс, торгові павільйони, а також автомобілі. Внаслідок обстрілу поранення отримали 16 чоловік та одна жінка загинула. Для ліквідації наслідків залучали 77 чоловік особового складу та 14 одиниць техніки.